going from point A to E. When we come back here, th I mean that's the magnitude, and we know that this is going that direction, so all we need is a unit vector in that particular direction. So, I mean, it, it works pretty much like force. You have the magnitude as 100, and AE is the vector, and you divide this by its length. So, <coughs> We need one more coordinate. That means we need the coordinates for E. And the way it's, it's drawn, the E should be it's on the y axis. So the coordinates for E should be 0, 4, and 0. So this is going to be 100. And if we just find the coordinates as 0, 4, and 0. That's for E. And we, we should know A, that's 3, 0, 0. You subtract these. <coughs> you will have an I here, a J here, and a K here. Then you have the square root. This component is negative 3, this component is 4, and this is 0. So we get negative 3 square and 4 square, then you have a 0 square. So the bottom part here is going to be 5, and <coughs> that should give us the moment vector as negative so 60, so this is 5 over 10. So this, this is the way it says we get 20. So you get negative 60i plus 80j. So that's what we get as the moment vector. So this is not the same thing as this one here. This one is a force vector, and that's a moment vector. But since both are vectors, we can use exact same kind of equations to use vector algebra. Okay, the next thing we need is the component of this along AA. So we know how to find components. Let's say we say MAA as a result of MC. Now this is going to be the dot product between the unit vector UAA and MC. See, the way, the way, I mean, the way we did with the force. See, anytime we wanted a component, we took the force vector and did a dot product with the unit vector along the direction we want to find component. So it's the exact same method. This time, instead of looking for a component of a force, in looking for a component of a moment. But the method is identical. So <coughs> we need this dot product. We only know the UAA, that's negative 0.6i, negative 0.8j. <coughs> then the dot product with the, the vector here, that's 60i plus 80j. And this is going to be negative 0.6 multiplied by negative 60 plus negative 0.8, this one here, multiplied by 80. So the first one is 36, and the second one here is 64. Uh, what's that? Oh, yeah. So, <coughs> see, 8 and 
28 and it should be negative and it should be pound feet. So that's what you get as the component of the moment MC along AA. So the actual resultant, you're looking for resultant along AA. That should be the sum, which means we're looking at AA because of the force F and you're looking at AA due to the moment MC. So that's 256 minus 28 and that's 8, 2 and 2. And that's in pound feet. So <coughs> once you know the magnitude, then MRAA as a vector. Because uh, so originally it was a vector, so that's going to be M R A A the magnitude multiplied by the unit vector A A. So that's two twenty eight, and this gets multiplied by the A A. That's negative point six I negative point eight J. So your <coughs> final answer for this problem shows up as negative 137i, negative 182j. So that's the actual vector which is running along point AA and it adds up the contributions from both. That means the contribution from the force as well as the contribution from the moment. So the, uh, so the, the two points here, first point is that if you have the force, then you needed this. I mean you need to make a choice <coughs> on some point on the force and you need to make a choice on some point on the axis. I mean, you need to create that position vector. Then you can go through this, and it's going to take care of the force part. Then when you have the extra moment in it, then you can use this equation to find components, exactly in the same way as you do for forces. So because the vector algebra behind the force and the moment are the same. So the way you add forces to find resultant, you add moments to find resultant moment. Mm, the way you find the components for forces is the same thing you do for moments. Okay, we're going to look at one more example. 